Right, any chance we could just skip over the usual abuse bit and move on to the part where we sort this out? Yeah, uh, you need to make a decision. Are you still going ahead with a private school? Because if you are, we need to draft a statement saying that your husband's leaving his job. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> You're expecting me to choose between fucking up my daughter's life and fucking up my husband's life? Yeah. So I just have to choose between them? Like they're on some fucking cosmic dessert trolley? Listen, darling, I can't fight on two fronts, you know? If the press run with both these stories, you're fucking dead. You set this up, didn't you? What? To put me in my place or get back at me for ignoring your advice or some other weird perceived slight that doesn't in any way merit this massive fucking out of proportion Israeli-style response. You don't realise I'm your fucking fairy godfather, right? Jeez, God help me. I'm your fairy fucking godfather, but I haven't got a magic wand that I can wave about. I've got a fucking blackberry and a chip. You've got a decision to make. If you make it, talk to you later. Malcolm? Sorry, could we just carry on talking about that thing? Was it you who positioned me there? Do you know what the first sign of madness is? Oh. Paranoia. Have you seen that film, you know, A Beautiful Mind, the one with that uh, Russell Crowe? The one where the math guy thinks that the, the CIA are, are working away in his shed at the bottom of his garden, that's you. No, I'm not the mad one here. You are the mad one. You're Russell Crowe. No, 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 no. You are Russell Crowe. And you need to fucking listen to me, Russell, you fucking Antipodean fucking kangaroo-loving fruitcake. See this poster stuff? That's fucking small fry. That's fucking white bait, Russ Mayo Cobber. The really horrible stuff. That's all still about to happen to you, right? Right, you're coming in here so we can carry this on. What now? Uh, if you can spare the time. Uh, no. I, no, I can't, I don't use lifts, I'm claustrophobic. You're what? Not hugely, I can be in rooms, you've seen that, I just don't do lifts, that's all. This, but this lift is, I mean, it's fucking huge. I mean, this is bigger than some rooms. This is bigger than some people's flats. It's about not being able to get out. Oh, well, that's great. That's fucking great. That's another fucking thing right there. Not only have you got a fucking bent husband and a fucking daughter that gets taken to school in a fucking sedan chair, you're also fucking mental. Jesus Christ, see you, you're a fucking omni shambles. That's what you are. You're like that coffee machine, you know, from bean to cup, you fuck up. So is Russell Crowe.